So how did their love story begin? <laughs> it was the summer of 2006 at the Alumni Club in Schaumburg. <laughs> he is there with Eric, a best man, and Mark, a groomsman. They are there for speed, dat speed dating, where they get free drinks if they participate. Mark just watches. <laughs> she is there with Jackie, a maid of honor, and other friends. They are not there for speed dating. The two groups know each other. They all hang out together. Joey asks Amy to dance with him. No, she replies, I don't have a belt on. <laughs> her pants are falling down. He offers to hold up her pants while dancing. <laughs> She wants him to get away from her. <laughs> they see each other once every few months. Cinco de Mayo, 2007. They were at Real Time Sports Bar in Elk Grove Village. 40 of their friends are there. Earlier that day, he split his eyebrow open. He was hit in the face with a drill. It's glued up and bandaged up. She thinks it's hot. <laughs> or maybe it was the, the tequila. <laughs> they both flirt. They go outside for a smoke break. She sits on his lap. And with liquid courage, she steals his sombrero by wearing it. They have their first kiss. They close down the bar, and a group of 10 friends go to her place. He does not get her number. She's mad at him. He got back at her for her not being interested in him at alumni club. <laughs> Two weeks later, a big group is at Coach's Corner, also in <laughs> Elk Grove Village. <laughs> he asks for her number. She gives it to him. They've been dating ever since. Together, they enjoy cooking dinner, bonfires, hanging out in the garage with their dogs, going to Walmart, Costco, or Menards, <laughs> going to Bears games and watching football, going to concerts. How did Joey propose to Amy? They had looked at rings together for a year so she does not know when it's coming. February 2011, there is a blizzard. Her car gets messed up. Friday, February 11th, she thinks they're looking at a used Jeep to replace her vehicle. She picks him up in his truck. She's tired, it had been a long day at work, and it's freezing out. She sees their blanket in his truck. She yells at him about it. <laughs> now she's gonna have to wash it. She's yelling at him about how the vehicle is too expensive. It's a long, slow drive to Tinley Park, rush hour on a Friday. They get to a barn. She does not see a Jeep. Maybe it's in the barn, he says. She tells him to go and check it out. She's staying in the warm truck. If it's the wrong place, can I still pet the horses, she asks. <laughs> He goes in and pays for the sleigh ride that he had prearranged that she did not want to go in, actually helped him. He comes out, we're not really here for a car, he tells her, we're going on a sleigh ride. Now she knows. They don't do spontaneous romantic things. <laughs> they go on the sleigh ride. He's talking to the driver, like always. She's waiting and trying to get photos of the deer. They are wrapped in the blanket for which she is now happy to have. I have to pull out my camera to get a picture, he says. He pulls out the ring box. He opens it and puts it in front of her face. There's a good, long pause. He mumbles, will you marry me? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, she says, followed by yes. 
A minute later, the driver says they're going to stop so he can propose on one knee. The driver does not hear that he had already proposed. <laughs> when Joey tells the driver to not stop, she says, are you sure, Joe? She thought he had chickened out. He tells her again that he has already proposed. The driver stops and takes a photo. They have dinner at John's restaurant in Bartlett with both of their families. And that's what brings us to today.